Hi, I'm Dave Early, and I have a confession to make. When I first became a Christian, and prior to becoming a Christian, I had this view of God that he was kind of like an old man. He, he'd been around for thousands of years. He was tired. He was worn out. He had aches and pains. He wasn't very strong anymore. He, his memory wasn't very good anymore. Um, he, he just wanted to, to sit back and watch what was going on. He, he didn't have the energy or the, 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 the desire to get involved in what was going on in our lives. I had this misconception that God was like an old man. But then I began to read the Bible, and especially when I began to study what it said about God, and I realized God is not an old man. He's not a man, and he's not old. God's not old. He has and will exist forever in a never-ending present state. God's not one second older than he's ever been. He lives outside the realm of space and time. He's not any older. He hasn't aged one bit. The God who created the heavens and the earth, the whole universe, he's the same God. He has the same amount of energy. He has the same mental capacities. He's just as infinitely almighty, as infinitely all-knowing as he has ever been. God is not any older. God has, and he will, exist forever in a never-ending present state. So, God is eternal. It tells us in Psalm 102, verse 11 and 12. My days are like the lengthening of a shadow, and I wither away like grass, but you, Lord, are enthroned forever, and your fame endures to all generations. On and on, forever. God is forever. Also, God doesn't change. The theological term is immutable, changeless. Psalm 102, for example, it says in verse 25, Long ago you established the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hand. They will perish. The earth, the heavens will perish. But you will endure. All of them will wear out like clothing, and you will change them like a garment, and they will pass away. But you are the same, and your years will never end. You're the same. Jesus said, I'm the same. The same God yesterday, today, and forever. James says, with God, every good and perfect gift comes from God above, with whom there is no variable, there's no shadow of turning, there are no changes. God is immutable. He hasn't gotten any smarter because he's had all knowledge. He hasn't gotten any dumber. He hasn't forgotten anything. He's not any weaker. He's not any stronger. He's not any faster. He's not any slower. All that God has ever been, God is right now. The God of the Bible is the same God who's the God today in the 21st century. God is immutable. Also, God's not retired. He's not retired. He's not sitting there with, in his lazy boy with a remote control, uh, can't find his pills, cold, weak, sleeps all that. That's not God. He's not retired. He is still active. Romans chapter 8, you know the verse. For we know that God is working all things together for good. He's, he's at work. God is at work today. He's at work on this world. He's at work in people's lives just as he has always been. Maybe you're in a part of the world that, that's spiritually darker than it used to be. But understand, there are other parts of the world that, that God is moving in mighty, mighty, powerful ways. More people are being saved on planet Earth today than any other time in history. More people are being healed on planet Earth today than any other time in history. God is active. He's still all-knowing. He hasn't forgotten anything. He hasn't. Uh, there's not new information. God's not um, baffled by technology. God knows everything. He's all-knowing. He's still all-knowing. And God's all-powerful. He's not any weaker than he used to be. He doesn't have a bad back or a bad arm or a bad shoulder. 
bad news. God is just as strong as he has always been. God is not an old man. He's not any older. He's not, he hasn't changed one bit. He, he, he's not retired. God is God, and I encourage you, get to know God. Take notes as we study God. Dig in. Look these verses up. Memorize them. Get to know God and get the right picture of God, and it will change your life.